reasons for creating this uh, service. Uh, I work a lot with uh, digital products, though, as an uh, interaction designer, uh, meeting. Oops. Oh, I have to. Uh, 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 meeting like uh, people who want to build apps, uh, websites, services, and have end users in focus. Uh, when I come up with ideas, uh, a lot of things when we are creative, like digital creatives, uh, we rely on that stuff or data will come from APIs. But there's a big diff distance from our creative process to actually uh, like, like the backend users that uh, working with data. So, trying to solve this, uh, we created a service called Find, and uh, what it does is somehow, for me, to explore data without knowing to code. So I can look into services and see what data are there to, in the creative process to start to generate ideas from technology instead of just uh, having some uh, user research only. So, here is the start page. It's find.com. You can sign up. Uh, you have like a video also like explaining the concept. Uh, you can sign up, and then it's this is start page. And I think the contrast are a bit low, unfortunately. But we have like cards that are um, configuration of uh, several APIs together, and that's like a, a, a micro ap application, you can say. So clicking on one. Uh, this is, if you know Swedish, it's actually the, the API for getting uh, data from the, the metro or, and the buses in Stockholm. So it's really easy to add a call. Uh, basically, you do like this. Uh, you specify a call name, and then you enter the URL. And then with brackets, uh, you specify the variables that you want to insert. Uh, and if you don't want to to have them public, like the key, you just like write it like this. So it's really straightforward and a simple solution. And uh, here are some information about how to do this. So we save that and uh, we make a call to uh, Stockholm's Lands Traffic. And here you see the first thing, what it does is in the XML or in JSON, it looks up what nodes there are uh, and uh, show that to you. And I prepared here, so I selected what but data is interesting because, I mean, that's why we're here. So uh, I want to have the departure date, the carbon monoxide, the duration, the tariff zones, and uh, there is a lot of data here, and some departure time, and so on. And below, if you see the result, and we tip the JSON into a more, what we think is readable format. <laughs> so it's more like a table, uh, actually, but it's a XML or JSON structure that we render like this instead. So, so it's easier to use. So in this, here we's, we've made a request and you find like the departure time and the transport and here's some error, of course, with a character from SL. Um, so, so that's the, the concept um, as like uh, in a nutshell. What you also can do that's even more powerful, uh, we can look into this one here, sorry, is to combine calls and uh, put them in a row, more or less. So, so what we do here is that we look at New York Times critics picks for DVDs. So we can run this locally, and as you see, we don't have any input to that one. So, and uh, here we just want the summary headline, the URL to the critics picks, and uh, this is the uh, actually the result. Then we want to get the movie, of course. We want to watch the movies. Uh, so, so we, uh, in the iTunes uh, API call, uh, we both have the number of results as an input, but also uh, variables from nodes from another call. So here we have selected a New York Times result sort name. Uh, and uh, even further, we go to Rotten Tomato, and we want to get uh, some information about the cast. Um, and then if you play, press run all, these connections are made and the calls are made, and then we get the, the to total result. So th this is actually the, the result from uh, New York Times, uh, together with the iTunes links, and here's the Rotten Tomato uh, cast information. 
So it's a really simple but mechanical tool to start to build small applications together. And uh, what you can do also is to, to I can maybe I can read downsize. Where's the cursor? Oops. I can't find it. There it is. We have two options here. One share link, and that's like the function. I created something really neat. Share it to a colleague or a friend, and then you can also elaborate with with uh, the input here that are specified with these brackets. But also, as you saw, you can get the JSON data if you just want to start to mock some, some front end, like building a prototype, and you get the, the data that you only wanted from the services uh, filtered out. Uh, and uh, another example uh, would be, we can talk about auth. Uh, I'm trying to learn everything <laughs> I can about auth, but uh, OAuth, I mean, it's really tricky. Uh, so, so what we've done in this first beta is to hard code the authentication for uh, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Uh, so you don't have to hassle with that. So then in this small twine, uh, what we do is we make a Google geocode lookup and we send the coordinates to Instagram to get uh, images from a certain place. Uh, and then we have, uh, we recognize the, the URL to Instagram, then it uh, gets one of these uh, refresh or grant access uh, buttons. So we can authenticate that way, really simple. Uh, and then we can make like Lilia Holman instead, I think. We are right now, press run all. And we get some images here from Nina Holman. Hopefully this will be something, yeah, pretty close. There are a lot of selfies otherwise when you do like this, uh, and food. Uh, one that's maybe more uh, illustrative is uh, called, let's see, um, no, called, is it spelled like that, Colosseum? Everyone takes a picture of Colosseum, just to prove the concept. I hope. Yeah. So that's, I mean, one way to just start to build ideas and explore applications possible without doing any, investing so much time in coding and setting up environments and stuff like that.